Hi guys, um, my name is Ino and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm just going to be uh, covering some of the changes to the uh, YouTube Studio app. So uh, a few days ago, uh, there were some changes that were introduced to the app. So I'm, I'm just going to go over the, some of the changes that I've seen. I'm not going to go into details. I just, I'm just going to show, I'm, I'm just going to highlight some of the, uh, the key changes. So I already have the app open here on my phone, as you can see. So the the dashboard has changed. So there used to be like um at the very uh somewhere here at the top left there used to be like three uh, horizontal lines that you would have you'd need to click in order to get to your options like the um, analytics comments and the playlist. So those are gone, and now instead of that you have at the bottom here, you see they've introduced uh, some icons that can take you to those um, to those uh, options. Also, the dashboard itself now has, if you if you look at the dashboard, the same options that you see at the bottom here are also listed on the dashboard. Like you have analytics here, and if you click on the uh, view more, you it takes you to the same thing that you would see when you go to analytics, which I'll click to later. And also if you scroll, um, well, before we scroll down, you can see here, you still have your watch times. Again, this watch time you see here is only for the last 28 days. So don't get confused by here. If the numbers are going down, normally it's because you've gone past the 20, uh, 28 days and there's some other watch time that's not included. So in order to see the entire time, you'll have to go to uh, view more, and then I'll show you what you need, where to go to get uh, the entire time uh, as far as the watch time or the watch hours. Okay, so we'll, if you scroll down, you'll see here you have your uh, your latest the video performance. You can also click on view more to see more about th that video. You see here, if you go keep going down, you see comments. Again, just overview. And also, if you click on view more, you'll see, you'll get the same options as what you get if you go to the, the icon here that says comments. So right now, just let's just go to those uh, options. So first we'll go to uh, this one here, videos. And what this does is just, it's gonna show you all, list all your videos. And as well as it gives you the option, you can edit, specific videos all you have to do is just click on the uh, click on the video itself and then there's like a pencil icon right here if you go into that pencil icon you'll get more options that you can you know make changes uh, such as you know you can make it private public you can um, turn monetization on and then as you scroll down you have more options now you can turn off the comments here um, so that just gives you the, the option, and then here you have your tags. So that's what you have under videos. So we'll go back and then just click on this arrow right there and we can go back to um, the dashboard. You can go all the way back to the dashboard. And then now let's go to the analytics tab. So here you have um, more information. You have your overview, which gives you the views. Again, this is just uh, 28 days. If you need more information as far as lifetime, just click on that number. If you click on that number, it should you open new uh, open a new window and give you the option to select like the last 38 days. I mean the last uh, the last year or the lifetime. Uh, if you go to your right here, scroll to your right. You you have your reach like um, who. If you scroll down, you see who's who's viewing you. Uh, what videos are being viewed so i'm not going to go into details on that uh, go to the next one which is a watch time or watch hours so this is where you'll see the details as far as um, if you're looking to see the, the full entire year how, how much you have in terms of watch time or watch hours so you just click on the number itself you have to click on this as you can see the default is just the 20, last 28 days 
again you can go to the last 365 days or the last one year the last seven days and the lifetime and that should give you the, the total number so that's where you find that information uh, the, the audience this is what I was talking about earlier so who was watching you what time people watch you the, the agenda um, the age the location like what countries people are watching you from and uh, people that are watching you whether they are sub subscribed to you or not so so you can see I have a lot of people that are watching that are not subscribed uh so that's it and then there's the revenue option if you're monetized you can go to the revenue and see the details there so so those are the main changes um there's also more under you know comments you have uh you can filter based on, on different things here you'll have to go into it and look at look at the options you have you just filter apply your filter and then click on apply and that should give you um, whatever you're looking for. Also, you can change the filters up here. So you have different, you can also search. Um, again, is this, this some of the new features that they added to the app? Yeah, somebody will have to go into it and you know play with it to get to know it more because there's, uh, like I said, a few, a, few a few new things that they added. So yeah, that, that's about it. I just wanted to cover what uh, the, the new uh, main items that I'm seeing here, um, as far as the uh, mainly subscribers. Again, the subscribers are gonna be here, right here next to your name, uh, underneath your name, and then uh, other, uh, other information that might be important to you. You might have to go under analytics, so you might have to click down here to get to what you're looking for. So. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope this is uh, helpful to, to you. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks, bye.